Yo, 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 we should be live, we should be live on YouTube. Let me know, anybody in the chat, how we're doing? Uh, where's Cook? I'm, I'm here, man, I'm here, yeah. I give me a minute. I'm, I'm trying to figure out exactly how YouTube live streaming works, this is the first time I'm really doing it on this channel. So, what we're gonna be doing today, if you guys are watching this non-live, you guys will just see... Some pack openings, we're going to open up some legend packs, I've heard they're pretty good, so might as well try them out. Probably open up some of the most feared fantasy packs as well, because I definitely want to try to get Randy Moss done. So we're going to try to get that going, what's going on everybody in the chat? Um, where are you at, Cook? I'm right here. Walsh, come on man. Walsh is being me in the chat. But we are going to be opening up packs for the most part today. I'm going to wait a minute or two to get everybody in here, get everybody all situated. So we got, we don't got coffee and bagel. You guys knew a couple of years ago to coffee and bagel cheese when we were opening packs, but we got coffee today. We at least have coffee so we can be awake. What up, Chase? What up, Daniel? What's up, guys? I'm live in zero. We are live right now. I, I hope we're live right now. I hope you guys are seeing what I'm seeing because I'm seeing Madden right now. So they added four new legends today. They added Herschel Walker, Ed Reed, Dwight Clark, and Jason Taylor. All absolute beasts. Like, you see that Jason Taylor card? That's scary. And there's just so many cool cards out today. That Jason Taylor card is probably the third coolest card out today. So, a lot of good stuff. Some new sets came out. So, we're going to try to mess around with it. We're going to take, take a little sip of our coffee. Because we need to be awake. Um, let's see. Alright, so as long as, as long as you guys hear me, I think we could... I heard Legend Bundle isn't bad. Alright, so someone can confirm that, like, you know, I'm hearable here. Click on the video, click back in there. So I guess people are trying to figure out how to get into the stream. Uh, if you're watching this, you know, not live, I apologize if it's not, like, completely formal. If I start doing this in the future, then, you know, maybe it'll be a more formal... If you acknowledge this chat, you're guaranteed to pull full Herschel Walker. What kind of coffee? Coffee, dude. Like, it's coffee. We can hear you? Alright, cool, cool, cool. We are good. Dwight's a beast. Dwight is a beast. The man literally made the catch. Like, when you make the catch... You're a beast, all right? Like, there's not really much, can, just no argument when someone makes something called the catch. Sure, it came from Joe Montana, but still, it was the catch. So, our goals today, try to get somewhat close to doing this Randy Moss set. I haven't done anything for the Scary Fast yet. I haven't, you know, gotten any, I don't have one player in my binder for Scary Fast. I haven't messed around with the solo challenges that came out, the new solo challenges. The old ones are done. I, I won't say whether I did them or not, but they're done. We got to do Daily Scare. I might do that on stream just to mess around a little bit. Um, Pokemon, definitely not. The bundle yesterday was not good for you. Okay, so we're not going to mess around with that bundle. We're going to start off by opening the Legend Fantasy Bundle. Let's get right into the, um, the was it, potatoes and meat. Uh, I think that's what the saying is. So we get eight Fantasy Packs, which is what the normal bundle usually is, except now we're getting an 87 plus guaranteed Legend. And the Legend Fantasy Packs today have two Guaranteed Legends in them. Last week it was one Guaranteed Legend as we get a daily objective thing right there for purchasing packs. Shout out to EA for being happy that we bought packs with money. Um, do you know where ScoMo is? I do not know where ScoMo is. Someone can find ScoMo over him in here. That one, I, would, I wouldn't mind that. Um, Alright, let's get into this. Ogbana? I don't know what that means. Alright, let's get into the packs. Yeah, let's, let's get something good. Okay, so this is the um, silver round. So we're not really going to get anything out of this round. Maybe one goal player, probably not. I really don't know what the strategy is. I, I just pick like the highest overall players in this thing. Otherwise, here we go. So we got to pick two players here. We get at least one most feared card. Oh, I'm picking my dude Juju Smith-Schuster. I don't care that... Ooh, Fast Anthony Brown. Is it a guaranteed Fast player in the second round? Or did we get lucky and get Anthony Brown? Because I think those Fast players go for like 30 to 40k-ish. So uh, I'm going to leave Armstead on the bench. We're going to get my boy Juju, baby. Oh, Joey Bosa? Is that how we're starting it off? Okay. I, I, I can rock a Joey Bosa. Tavon Austin. Okay. Okay. Herschel Walker, low end Herschel Walker, and John Abraham. So I gotta do a quick price check to see if Bosa is indeed more pricey than um let's see. Joey Bosa 88. Yeah, Joey Bosa 88 overall, definitely better than Tavon Austin. So we're starting off with a bang right here. I like it. I like it. We got a fast player. Let's see. Mike says he pulled 588 to 91 legends from the bundle. That is fantastic. Shout out to everyone in the stream right now. Like I said, it's my first time doing this. So, um, you guys are here bearing with it. Hopefully, the audio and the quality is all good. And we can just rip some packs, have some fun right here. That is what the goal is today. Nothing too, too crazy. Bosa, Bosa. You can't pick Bosa. In. I wish I could pick Bosa in Austin, but unfortunately, you cannot do that as we get a goal apart. 
Go card in the first round. I can take that. We'll just skip through the first round. Ooh, we got my boy Arlene's Darkwa. All right, cool, cool. We'll just pick a random silver card. I don't think that really matters too much. Now, round two. You can pull a legend in round two. You can pull a full legend in round two if you really want, but you're probably not going to. But we didn't pull anything right there. But we do get a guaranteed most feared fat another fast card. All right. I'm not sure the fast cards are guaranteed or not. I, I'm not really. I guess we'll take a Packer card. Packer is usually kind of expensive. EA needs to make more packs. Ooh, we pulled the wrong Anthony Barr right there. I would love to pull the other Anthony Barr. Okay, Marshawn Lattimore. That's a that's a good pull right there. We'll see what else we can get. These packs definitely have a lot of guaranteed value if you get a guaranteed fast player because the fast players are going for a lot on the auction house. Okoye, good card. Doubt he goes for more than Lattimore. Let me just make sure, cop. I'm talking about how these cards go for like 30k, but I really only check Evan. Yeah, Lattimore goes for 37k. I can bet you anything that Okoye does not. Okoye goes. Oh, Okoye goes for 34k. But I'd rather have the fast player anyways, because like I said, we're gonna try to do the Randy Moss set. I don't know if we're actually gonna be able to do the Randy Moss set. But we're gonna try it. Marshawn Lattimore, by the way, guys. He is part of the reason why the Saints defense is really improved this year. Having a fantastic rookie season. He's the real deal. Drafting the top 10 this year's draft and. You know, he's, he's the real deal. He's got the physical traits, he's got the speed, and he's definitely showing up on the field. So Saints fans definitely got to be happy with what Lattimore is doing. I saw a tweet today on my timeline, that Pro Football Focus, that site that gives all the grades and stuff. They said that Marshawn Lattimore was the number one rookie in football this season, right ahead of Kareem Hunt. And, I mean, it's got to be right, because Kareem Hunt's been doing really good this year. And if you're at a Kareem Hunt, who has just been eating this year, you're doing good. $100 for a bundle, yeah. Uh, we, had, we had to swallow that, goes. I know, I know. I, not really one of my prouder moments, but we had to swallow that. Round two, wrong Tariq Cohen, wrong everything. Hopefully, a Philip Dorsett. All right, so we'll just have to throw Philip Dorsett into a pack as we go to round three. Alfred, eh. Okay, Lattimore again. Now, do we get two legends here? Two legends. Last week, we only had one legend option, and the week before, we had two. So they gave us back two, gave us back the hype, but can we get a hype player? Yes, no? Not really. Not really. I. Larry Little, I, I'm not too sure Little will go for more than Lattimore. If they go for the same price, just like the other time, yeah, Little goes for a little bit less. And even then, the tiebreaker goes to Marshawn Lattimore. We are trying to complete Randy Moss. I mean, in order to complete Randy Moss, if we pull enough fast players, what we're going to have to do is hopefully pull Russell Wilson. Lattimore is amazing. Yes, he is. Dreams do come true. Yeah. Reading comments, dreams come true. In order to read comments... I actually had to live stream, so you had a far-fetched dream and it actually came true. So shout out to you. Shout out to the 70-something Giants players we keep pulling from these packs. I like it. I like it. Lattimore's yeah, I read that one. All right. So round two. We haven't really done too well in round two so far. We got Bosa and we got a couple of Lattimores. Um, hoping for some elite five. Okay, Mike Evans. Mike Evans. I think those cards still go for a good amount. These um heroes, they might still go for like 30k each. So that's definitely a good pickup. This we're definitely not picking him. Guaranteed, Nikhil Roby Coleman will not be joining the team after this round. Derrick Henry, on the other hand, wait, we got a strong player. We've we've been constantly getting Lattimore. I thought it was guaranteed um fast, but. Maybe we've just been getting fortunate a couple of times. Legend round, legend round. Ed Reed, Ed Reed. Bang. Okay. Okay. Um, now, Derrick Henry, I would say... I've already done the Ray Lewis set, so I really have no interest in Derrick Henry. And Derrick Henry doesn't even go for that much. After checking, he goes for a solid 16k. 84 Larry Little goes for 19k. Actually goes for more. Since we've already done the Ray Lewis set, we are going to go with Larry Little with that pick. So that was... By far the worst game. Oh yeah, shout out to um, Zayer Bayer. If you guys watched um, the game I put up last week, Falcons versus Patriots, I played him in that game. We had a fun game. Came down to the wire. He ended up getting the victory, but still a fun game. Should the Giants fire Ben McAdoo? I, I, wouldn't, I don't like just come firing a coach right out the bat. I think there's something to be said, but continu continuously, I guess the right word would be. But... Ben McAdoo definitely had to give up the offensive play call, and that's something that had to happen. I would give it a couple of weeks to see what the Giants do with McAdoo, if they still play for him. If the Giants start giving up on their season, which, you know, the whole rodgers Cromarty thing was not a good start, because all you have to see is that the Giants respond to McAdoo and just play decently, right? If they play decently with McAdoo, then that's fine. That's all you really ask for. They... they they don't have to win the game, so obviously winning the game isn't even the main priority for the team. We'll just grab a Seahawk, and they're probably really expensive, as we get Andy Dalton. Blech. 
But um, Jonathan Hingis is thick. All right. <laughs> Former Giants player. Oh, we got Stephen Paye. That's not too good. Ooh, Mel Bond, 86. That's definitely going to be our pick right there. I could, unless this guy's better, of course. Oh, okay. Mel Bond is not our guaranteed pick. I call I call my shot too soon. I didn't realize that these packs were just spitting elites out here. That's about a 100k coin pull right there, and an 89 overall Christian Okoye. Blunt, even the Blunt card, I would say it goes for somewhere around 30k, right? Maybe 40k since it's Mel Blunt. All right, so like 25k, not even that much. So we're easily taking Okoye right there. That's 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 dope, man. Um, how do you think of the Green Bay health without Aaron Rodgers? They're toast without Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers makes that team, all right? Like, they, they have good pieces on that team. They have Jordy. They have Mike Daniels, like, some good defensive players. Some good defensive players, but it's all about Rodgers when it comes to the Green Bay Packers. That's just the way it is. With most teams, it comes down to your star quarterback. Like, the Patriots are dead without Brady, you know? The Colts, as you guys see, not too good without boy Andrew Luck. Yo, Cook, what is your hang- <laughs> Yeah, Walsh, I- you just, you just gotta stop. You just, I mean, it was your birthday, man. You just gotta take the day off. Take the day off and watch the stream, right? That, that's the hangover cure. Okay, goal player. Oh, Quincy and Nuwa. All right. We will take a Nuwa. We will take you and... I don't know. Someone random. I really don't think it matters who you take in that round. All those silvers. Woo! Marcus Peters in round two? In round two, though? Okay. I'm... Uh, that's dope. That's definitely dope. Now, we've been not really having good luck with the round two most feared player. We've been kind of crapping it up with that guy, but Marcus Peters, though. Marcus Peters, I will take it. Uh, let's do a quick price check on Marcus Peters because I want to I wanna feel good about myself knowing how much Marcus Peters goes for. Marcus Peters, 60K in round two. Definitely okay with that. And... Oh, Tavon Austin. Hmm. That's our guy right now. That's our guy. We'll see if any of the legends can top Tavon Austin. Yes, no. Randall Cunningham. That's a, that's a definite no. Dwight. New Dwight Clark. New Dwight Clark. 87 overall. Hmm. Now, a quick price check on said Dwight Clark. Says he's going for about 40000 And so is Tavon Austin, which means... The tie break will go to Tavon Austin. I'm probably not doing the White Clark set, to be honest, so sorry. 49ers fans, would you ever consider posting FIFA 18, says the Designator 88? No, probably not. I'm not good at FIFA. If I if I posted FIFA, it would be me playing in um, co-op. Not co-op, but um, pro clubs. Pro clubs. The one you play with like, a bunch of teammates because... I'm not, I'm not good at FIFA, all right? So you guys will just see me play with people who are better than me and can carry me in that game, all right? Because you don't, you don't need to see me lose 5-0 in FIFA because I'm not good at it. It's not something that needs to happen. Do you have a PS4? Yeah, I got PS4. I got Xbox One. We got both systems. I play on the Xbox One because I've just been playing on this for however many years. This was round one. We got a 77 overall, all right? That's dope. That's dope. We got more round two luck. We got some more round two luck today. Nah, not really. A lot of Marcus Peters. That was just blessed. That's not something you can expect every single time. Is the Randall Cunningham 90 overall Twitch Prime a good quarterback? I would not know because I did not use him. This was a putrid round. Putrid round. That was disgusting. Can we turn it around in the legend round? We got two more of these legend packs, including this one. After this one, we have the last one to go. Ooh, Russell Bodine. We're gonna we're gonna need a dope legend. Last time we pulled like a crappy guy, I think we pulled like the Okoye. So let's let's turn it up. Let's turn it up, Madden. Madden? You didn't hear me. You didn't hear me the first time. Let's turn it up. Let's get read. Ah, we gotta take this crap player. Man, I don't want a Bodine, but eh, you don't win every pack. Uh, we've been doing okay. We went. We haven't hit the home run, which we might in this pack. You never know. How do you get such a good team? Rip the wallet. That's how you get a good team. That's the way you get a good team in month. You rip the wallet, all right? <laughs> okay. Round one. Not much will ever be done in round one. If anybody has ever pulled like a legend in round one, God bless their souls and can... I have your luck. <laughs> Dalvin Tomlinson, by the way, speaking of rookies, this guy's pretty good. The Giants let Hankins walk in the offseason and drafted Dalvin Tomlinson, second round pick out of Alabama. And the Giants' second round picks out of Alabama in the last couple of years as we pull absolutely nothing here. Have been great because we pulled Tomlinson, or we pulled, we drafted Tomlinson and we drafted Layton and Collins. Tomlinson, pretty solid this year, right next to Damon Harrison. And then, of course, Landon Collins, you guys know, it's just Landon Collins as we pull a legend in our first inning. That's not the way it's supposed to go, but pull Reggie White anyways. Round two, we got a Paella. That's not good. This is our last one. We need, to, okay, we need to pull something good and we pull 
Charles Haley. I feel like the higher overall the legend, the more colorful the cards are. Am I right or am I wrong? Because that 89 Okoye was really shiny, and this 89 Charles Haley is really shiny as we pull an 84 Warren Boone. Okay, okay. So, all in all, we pulled an 89 Charles Haley, an 89 Okoye. We pulled 87 Marcus Peters, and we pulled 88 Joey Bosa. And we still have the Legend Topper. I forgot all about the Topper. Let's go big money. And re- Ooh! Herschel Walker. Hmm. Is that the second best Walker or the third best Walker? Because if it's the third best Walker, then it's not as exciting. Yeah, there's a 91 Herschel Walker. But this Herschel Walker right now that we pulled still goes for over 300k. So this, all in all, fantastic. Fantastic pack. I've seen... People say good thing about these bundles, about the Legend Bundles that came out today. So shout out to, shout out to my dude Kralo, man. Shout out to Kralo, shout out to the dude at EA for listening to us and fixing the Legend Fantasy Pack. Because they've been trying and tweaking. Last week was an L, this week is a W. If we get more packs like this week for the rest of the year, that is fantastic. Now part of the reason why these packs are really good is because of the guaranteed most feared players. That adds some value to them, but we're definitely on the right track. As much as I would love to open these Legend Fantasy Packs, I want to at least try the Spooky Fantasy Pack. I want to try it out at least once or twice because I want to say it is. Juju says that, you know, Herschel walks himself for 300k, so we're doing good. I only got Sherman. I like the most fear. It takes so long. I got 400k, 87 overall team. You yeah, haven't spent any money. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Okay, we're at 90 right now, and we've spent, like, too much money. So, <laughs> that's that's a, that's a pretty good grind. I don't know how much of your team is net, but that is still a good grind. Do the daily challenges and online games. Wait, what is this? Why do we pull a pumpkin? The silver round has pumpkins in it. Is this, like, a thing? How many cards are in the silver round? We got another pumpkin, another pumpkin, and another pumpkin. I'm going to take a sip of coffee because, um... We got time to while trying to analyze what the, maybe i didn't read the um description maybe you get like guaranteed pumpkins in the first round i just had no idea oh my whole <laughs> my dude stiller he's the one that said 400k and 87 overall team man said his whole team is that yeah that, that's just the way it goes so we get five cars in round two we get two gear i think we get one guaranteed fast player which is going to be another gold these round two like fantasy legend our most fear cards haven't been going too well for us cockerel definitely not being picked you're not being picked whatever fast player we get on this right side being picked hassan reddick hassan reddick we can check out the stats um really fast player how can we play you cookie just follow me on twitter dude i'll just randomly ask if i'm you know whenever i'm bored i want to play a game that's where it will be so hassan reddick has no good coverage stats absolutely nothing but 87 speed 6 1 82 hit power I mean, unless your dude's playing with conservative carrying, you don't need the hit power, but Reddick's still a really good uh, card, so here more coffee. Yeah, you know, I gotta take another sip of coffee while we go to Spooky Fantasy. If Spooky Fantasy doesn't work after, like, I will say three or four packs, I might go back to the Legend Fantasy packs, because those things were just fire, absolutely fire. Like, I want to open the rest of those. This, like, this is actually pretty cool card art for a silver card. I will say that. This is probably one of the best silver card arts I've seen. Just because it's a nice little background there. Like, normally the silvers are like this guy. Where you just take some goofy-ass picture. We got this dude make, trying to make a nice catch. I see you. And I guess we get pumpkins. So, basically, in this first round, you pick four pumpkins. Like, I don't really understand what else that first round is for. Unless you pull a legend out of it. Which you're probably not going to pull. So, hmm. Pro clothes would be so funny if you did it live. Let's see. I have 50k spare. I have Shane Vereen. I have nothing good. We got some not so good Giants. More Giants. Is this the Giants pack? Are we going to pull Evan Ingram? No, we just pulled crappy as Jared Sweezy. But that was low key the Giants pack. I pulled a Domkin Sue from the Gauntlet Unleashed 84 auctionable pack. That's that's what's up. That's what's up. I feel like at this point of the year, unless you plan on doing a power up set for one of those really high players, or if you're on a budget team, that auctionable part for the Gauntlet, the Gauntlet Unleashed, might be the move. Come on, come on, give me a Russell, give me a bar, give me something, give me something to work with here. Give me something to work with, Madden. If you end getting most Adore Jackson, use it for your punt returner. Adore Jackson is a mean punt returner. I use Adore Jackson as the punt returner for our um, online CFM, which I haven't played in a couple of weeks, but I when I did play it, that's what I used. Do the solo challenges like gauntlets, um, do solo challenges 
I, I don't really understand that question. You could repeat that one. I'll just hit you with a pardon? Pardon the interruption, but what was that? Scooby Wright the third. Scooby Wright the third. I only recognize that name because he had a campus hero last year. And, you know, the dude's name was Scooby, so it's kind of hard to miss him. What? I don't even know if I want that card. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, what? What? Okay. Um, I... I'm gonna need a couple of price checks here. We're probably gonna take the McKinnon, but... I, like, Coleman might be a decent price. Like, somebody's got... Like, I don't think I really want a chance Warmack, to be honest. So, Coleman goes for 8.5k. Warmack. I'm just typing this all in in my head right now, so you just... 6.5k. So, Warmack actually goes for less. And PJ Williams. There's gonna be a lot of Williams in my head. PJ Williams goes for 8.5k. So, I think I'll just go with the Coleman here. 83 overall, could probably use it for one of those. And I'm assuming this McKinnon goes for more than else. Use John Ross as your palm returner. Dude, at this point, they come out with a couple of players that are just as fast as John Ross in the game. You don't really need John Ross as your palm returner anymore. Actually, this McKinnon doesn't even go for as much as I thought I would. All right, so we're going to take him anyways. A good method of getting players by getting scary tall elites and selling them. Wait, wait, Demarius. I wasn't even paying attention. We just got ran. We got Demarius Randall team of the week. Probably not going to take him. We're just going to take another Marshawn Lattimore. By the way, this Marshawn Lattimore, I'm sick of pulling him. But this is probably the coolest card art for any card I've seen this year. Like, look at... Let me just pull him really quick so we can um, zoom in a little bit more. Man, man 15 budget beast. Jared McKinnon is the every year budget beast. But, um, besides the 92 speed, which turns into 96 when the most feared thing launches. When you do this most feared thing, this is probably the guy you want on the outside. You probably don't even want Jason Verrett covering a 99 Randy Moss. You probably want Lattimore for the extra height, and it's only going to be minus one speed. Just a little FYI. But look at this card art. When I saw this card art, when I went down, like, because I saw this card a couple of weeks ago. Because when I, like a week or two ago, when I went down to the EA Studios to do the most feared stuff, to like capture the most feared content early, I saw that Marshall Lattimore card. I was like, Dude, that is, that is easily my favorite card I've seen all year, card art-wise. And the stats on it are ridiculously good. If you did the um, if you did the power-up set or whatever it is, the rookie premiere set for Marshawn Lattimore, you're definitely rubbing your hands. I unfortunately did not do it because I didn't believe in the man, and I was wrong for that. Anyone use Mario Alford in Man 16? Oh, that was like a wide receiver for the Bengals that had like 96 speed, right? He was like the second fastest behind Perriman. That dude was cheese. Speaking of cheese, 85 overall strong player. Don't mind if I do. Um, trash Jabril Preppers. Don't, I guess, don't mind if I do. Herschel Walker, 84 overall in the first round. Probably not going to take him, but it looks kind of cool. We're probably going to take whatever fast player we get instead, which is Anthony Brown, but can't. Herschel Walker... Would be kind of cool, and we got him that 84 overall. We could have tried to do his set. So, these packs are actually kind of duddish. I'm going back to the Legend Fantasy packs. No one's stopping me. I'm going back to the Legend Fantasy pack. You will not convince me otherwise. Come on, get the Moss. Dude, I want the Moss, too. But, like, when Randy Moss calls... I have two, 2 million coins right now. Can I even afford Randy Moss with all those coins? Like, can I, can I even afford Randy Moss at that point? I don't really know. Oh, I gotta pick three of these guys. I forgot. They actually make you pick three of these silvers, so it clogs up your binder as we pull Cole Beasley in round two. Kind of random, but I'll take it. We'll definitely take it. Okay. Okay, Eric Reed. I, I'm seeing all these elite flashes. I'm like, whoo, but not really. So, we're gonna put McKinnon and I guess Eric Reed. It really doesn't matter between Reed and Beasley. I'm not gonna look up the price. I don't think it matters too much. Guarantee Mike Mitchell will not be picked. It's guaranteed. This guy might be picked. Probably not, though. I'm hoping we pull someone better. Hoping we get some more legend fire. Not you. Not you. I can use a cheese player, but not Warren Moon. What I can use... Okay. 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 What's your fantasy facts? I came back. I thought you guys were the truth. Complete a fast captain upgrade set. I will try to do that. Once we finish opening up packs. Once we finish opening up all these packs, I'm going to go try to get a couple of sets knocked out. So, we're going to open up. We got a couple, We got a few more packs to open up before we run out of points. And then after that, as you guys see in the top right, we have 3,000 points. So, that's like two more packs. And then after that, we will be stopped. We will be halted. We will be forced to go. Or we could just spend more money, but I'd rather not do that. I'd rather at least save some dollar bills. Your stream is showing as unlisted. Is that actually a thing? Is it really showing as unlisted? I have no idea why that's like that. I apologize. I really had no idea that, that would be unlisted. Is that, is that really a thing that's unlisted? Um, my tra Mike Mitchell is trash in real life. Yeah, Mike Mitchell is struggling in real life right now. Um, that's not good. So, I really have no idea why the stream would be unlisted. So, shout out to everybody that's actually in here and found a way to get in here. 
But, uh, yeah, I apologize if it's unlisted. If, cause, I mean, not to you guys, because you guys are in here, but I guess anybody that could not find it, because... It was unlisted as we pull a Dylan Cole random random. Now I will I can't really spend too much time trying to figure out why it's unlisted right now. I'll just figure it out another time. But um yeah. That that is what happens when you stream for the first time. Stuff like randomly going unlisted will happen. Larry Little 85 overall. You see what I'm saying now? Larry Little doesn't shine too much, but I guarantee we pull a higher overall. It will be more shiny. That's not shiny. That's like gloomy, super gloomy. Table in Austin is the guy. What's your take on the Martavis Bryant situation? My take on the Martavis Bryant situation is that he's not he's kind of being outplayed by Juju Smith Schuster. Which is not a bad thing. Juju's a good player, but um kind of just gotta suck it up right now. Kinda just gotta suck it up. Have you pulled Michael Vick yet? I have not. I unfortunately have not pulled Michael Vick yet. So I don't know if anybody else has seen this thing as unlisted. That would be my bad. It said it says that the video would go public, but um I don't know, dude. I don't know what happened. I don't know why it ended up going unlisted instead. Like, I had in the settings that it would go as public, but... Dude, I really don't know. I'll have to figure it out another time. We'll just ex I'll just experiment with this as we go on. I mean, I think we've been doing pretty good as far as the stream, as far as the quality and all that. Dante Hall was crazy good. Dante Hall? <laughs> that dude... Like, I'm, I never saw him watch him play live, but watching videos of Dante Hall, that dude was unbelievable. Like... Dude, pretty much crazy legs. Like, Herschel Walker is crazy legs, but that dude is, like, crazy legs junior the way he moved in the open field. So, we're going to take these two guys right here. We have really slowed down the pack look. Like, where is... What, what's your thoughts on Juju celebrations? Juju Smith-Schuster has the best celebrations in the NFL. That is not even a question. That man's the best celebration in the NFL. It's just the way it is. Jared Valdir is not the best player in the NFL. Yeah, I couldn't see the stream in my sub box. That is... Okay! Okay, you see how shiny this Atwater was? I was looking at the chat and just bam, Steve Atwater is like, how are you doing? Like, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty good now that I pull her Steve Atwater. I would doubt that he goes for more than 100k. 88 Steve Atwater. I would say like 75k maybe. 88 Steve Atwater. Okay, I was wrong. 121k. That's a really good pull. That's better than the 89 Okoye we pulled. Let's see the stats. Let's see. 88 hit power. 85 zone. This dude is basically like a giant linebacker. Like, you know, giant linebacker at safety. Not that fast, but he can pack a punch. And it's probably fun to have on your team. What's more fun to make, top 10 plays of the week or not top 10 plays of the week? Okay, so I, I love making top 10 plays of the week. That is so much fun for me to do. But not top 10 plays of the week is just so funny. It's just so funny. Like, if you guys saw my reactions to like making top 10 plays of the week videos live and like watching the clips for the first time live dude i just i'm literally dying laughing looking at not top 10 plays of the week all right like literally dying laughing at some of those plays it, it's way too funny like i love top 10 but dude those plays are ridiculous as we pull havelstein we have really been doing bad in the second round horrible in the second round the third round we've been kind of eating We've been kind of eating in the third round. This is our last pack, by the way. Last pack. Then we're going to try to knock out some sets. So, Son Reddick. That's our guy right now. That's our guy. Impress me. Impress me. You impress me, you get picked over Hassan Reddick. Impress me. You're not impressive. You you wouldn't be allowed to play with that face mask, all right, Kraus? Like, today you would not be allowed to play with that face mask. You, we can't have you on the team for precautionary reasons, all right? This is 2017. We can't have someone with that face mask on our team. Single Terry. I don't know, dude. We're just not going to pick you. We're just not going to pick you. I'm sorry. Hassan Reddick's faster. And in this day and age, you need tiny linebackers that are fast. And that's what Reddick is. Reddick, more of a safety kind of guy. But you know how the Cardinals do. The Cardinals just put damn near anybody at freaking linebacker. They put Buchanan there. They put Reddick there. They'll probably draft some other dude and put him there. They would put Ed Reed a linebacker. They could, all right? So, um, let's see what we got. We got ourselves scary strong and scary fast. Hmm. I might, might, might look into this really quick. Hold on, hold on. I don't need any more scary strong players. I really don't because I, actually this is such a dumb set. Now that I think about it, this is such a dumb set. Let me not do this. You put in like two 5K-ish players to get back like an 8K player. I don't think that's a set we're doing. You guys can let me know if that's a set we're doing or not. Let me know, but um, I don't think it is. So I'm just not going to touch it to be honest. Dude, I, 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 it actually is bothering me now. I don't know why this thing is um, unlisted, but we'll just move on. Anyways, how do I submit top plays I have recorded on my PlayStation? If you check my pinned tweet on Twitter, 
which I'm assuming most of you guys are here from Twitter since this is an unlisted video. You just check the pinned tweet and there's, there's a good explanation on how to submit plays on Twitter. Or, um, from the PS4. And you basically submit it on Twitter or you can put it on YouTube, one or the either. Scary Fast Elite Player. We're gonna probably pull a table on Austin or Hassan Reddick. Maybe Evan Ingram. Can we get an Evan Ingram? I've not seen one Evan Ingram. That is the one guy I would actually like to have on my team. Not just as a Giants fan, but as a fan of really fast tight ends. I would like to see at least one Evan Ingram, but haven't really seen him too much. How many players do we have? 11. We have just enough to do one of these sets. Just enough, unfortunately. That is eight. Let's put two Marshawn Lattimore's in there by saving ourselves a Anthony Brown. I wrote it. I don't know what the hell I'm trying. Let me just put eight people in here. None of these guys are surviving. What's your Super Bowl pick? No idea, dude. This year is so weird. This NFL season is so weird. I'll say the Patriots will make it. That's all I'll say. Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson. Anthony Barr. Jason Verrett. Eh, eh, eh. Okay. Okay. I mean, honestly, I would rather have that Marshawn Lattimore card. Like, hold up. Let's do a comparison really quick. Where is Marshawn Lattimore? We have so many Nat. Oh, oh Nat. 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 So many freaking Nat people just chilling in the binder. But um, here's Marshawn Lattimore. That's a little crazy, but I guess the zone coverage is really bad on Lattimore. So maybe not, but I don't know, dude. I like that Nat that Lattimore. Um, Reddick is glitchy. I'm sure if you use Hassan Reddick as a user, especially in Mud Squads, then that dude... No doubt has to be glitchy. So, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? So, we, I would love to do this Richard Sherman set, but like, I, I don't have any of these scary tall elite players, and they go for so much. So, I feel, I feel like that would just be boring to watch. I don't want to bore you guys by doing sets and all that on videos. So, I think Verrett is the second cheapest one. Awesome, awesome. So, I think I'll end the video here. I think we've done a pretty successful pack opening. Let's do a little recap on what we pulled today. Um, this is not a... I, dude, the way they just flip this, like, where the auction house and where the binder is, is always messed up. I always enter the auction house thinking it's my binder, but, um... Alright, little recap, and then we end the video. Because uh, that's really what this is all about. We're just opening packs, having some fun right here. So, Verrett, really ignore him because he wasn't part of the pack opening. That was just... Part of the people that we pulled just threw him for a Verrett who's really cheap. But we got Atwater. We got 90 Herschel Walker. That was definitely our best pull. We got him from the topper. So that was dope as hell. Let's see how much Herschel Walker is going for right now. A solid 335k. I like it. I like it. I'll probably sell him just because I don't really want a 90 Herschel Walker. But, dude, if we pulled a full Herschel Walker, I would have easily used him, dude. I don't even like that. Tomlinson you get the level up Tomlinson. So we got Bosa, we got Koye, Peters, Charles Haley. All in all, this this is a lot of coins worth of players. So pretty successful pack opening, if I say so. Which wins low chem should I pick? I really don't know too much about offensive chems, but um Yeah. So that'll basically do it for the video. Thank you guys for stopping by. I apologize for the whole unlisted fiasco. Hopefully, I figure that out next time. I, I swear this thing is on public. I really don't know what how to fix that. But I will figure it out sometime. And when I do, I will catch you guys next time.